Hey guys, bring you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Lenovo laptop here, and the problem I'm going to show you how to address today is a battery error. Uh, perhaps your error is uh, battery won't charge, 0% available, plugged in not charging, uh, battery not detected, any sort of errors like that. Uh, sometimes you'll see a black X next to your battery and anything that's happening where your battery is not building up or receiving a charge or may not even be uh, being read by your computer as being present. So this is the problem I'm going to show you how to fix today. Uh, keep in mind, if you have any questions, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. I do try to keep those updated. Um, if you don't see your question there, leave me a comment. I will try to get back to you a few times a day at least. So the first thing you want to try with your Lenovo is a static discharge. Um, so I'm going to go down here and turn my computer off in order to do this. Uh, many of you, if you've ever called into a warranty repair line or some other computer repair service, this is the first step they'll have you do in many cases to solve a variety of computer problems. So shut the computer off, make sure all of your lights are off, it may take a few minutes for the computer to fully shut down. Once that's done, unplug your charger if your computer's plugged in and remove your battery. Many of you on the bottom of your computers will have a battery uh, where you just hit a couple pins and the battery slides out. Um, if you have a computer like mine, you'll have to take off your entire bottom case in order to get at your battery and either remove it or unplug it from the motherboard. If you need help with that, check out the video link in the description on how to access an internal battery and that'll guide you through that process. Once you've removed your battery, flip your computer back over and press and hold the power button for one minute. Once you've held the power button for a minute, feel free to put your, uh, your, your battery back in. You can plug your charger back in and then turn on your computer to see if that fixed your problem. If that was your problem, it means your computer is building up to static. Try to limit the sources of static you use your computer around. Uh, don't use your computer on blankets or pillows. Try not to let your cat sleep on it. Um, and make sure, most importantly, that your computer is always being used while plugged into a surge protector that's healthy and not directly into your outlet. If that doesn't fix your problem, we're going to move on to looking at your adapter. This is my computer adapter for this Lenovo. And on the bottom of most of your computers, either right away on the bottom or underneath where your battery is, there'll be information on, on, what, uh, on what charger you should be looking for. This one here says input 20 volts, 2.25 amps. So that's what you're looking for. Um, make sure that your charger matches what this is saying. This is saying 20 volts, many of you will say 19.5. Whatever you're saying for the volts and amps, make sure that your charger reads the same. If your charger and your computer are not the same, uh, if this is lower than what your computer's asking, at the very least your computer will underperform, uh, which some symptoms of that could mean not charging your battery. Maybe your charger's putting out enough power to power your computer, but not charge your battery and run your computer at the same time. If this is off as far as it being over what your computer is asking for, at the very least it could be damaging your computer. So make sure that this and this match. The next thing you want to look at is a possible driver issue. Uh, maybe your battery drivers are not there, maybe uh, there's an update that's supposed to be run that hasn't, or maybe an update didn't fully process. So what you're going to do on your desktop now is go down to your search bar and start typing in the word updates. This should pop up either right away or after a few minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. It'll say check for updates under system settings and that's what we want. So hit enter. Uh, this says updates available. Sometimes it'll say no updates available. Never believe it when it says that. Always, there'll be a button here that says uh, check for updates. Always run that. In my case right here, th there is an update available and it wants me to click on download to start that going. Um, make sure you do this process. Um, if you want a little more detailed information on how to make sure all of your updates are run and you follow this through on, until there's no more updates, check out the video link below in the description on, on, on how to update your, your Lenovo. It'll take you a little more in depth into this process, but that's going to be your third troubleshooting step is make sure your drivers are updated, make sure your computer is updated. 
The last step we'll look at, if all of your drivers are updated and you didn't see anything to update, or if the updates that went through were not related to your battery, um, this is what we're gonna have you do for the last troubleshooting step. You're gonna come down here in your search bar again and type in device manager. And again, just like updates, it'll pop up device manager under control panel. That's what we want, hit enter. You're gonna see batteries here. So expand that, hit the arrow to drop that down. And you see Microsoft AC adapter. You're gonna right click on that and hit, you can try updating driver, but that's what we just did in the previous uh, part. If you wanna try this specific one, you can. But at this point, what I would do is I would hit uninstall driver. And then I would restart the computer and then run those updates again. That way it forces it to uninstall this driver and, and reinstall it fresh. Um, if you've done all these steps, um, you've checked your static buildup, you've uh, uh, checked the updates, you've uninstalled the driver, reinstalled the driver. If all of these steps have gone through and your battery's still not charging, most likely at this point, your battery has just gone bad. Consider replacing it. Also keep in mind, I know generic batteries are much cheaper um, but keep in mind, in my experience, I buy a lot of generic batteries, but 50% of them simply do not work in the computer even though they're brand new. So keep in mind, if, you're, if you are buying a generic battery, there's a chance that it just may not work. Uh, you may have to either get another generic battery, try your luck again, or if it doesn't work again, you may just have to um, get a brand name Lenovo battery. So uh, hopefully one of these processes helped you out again. If none of them did, your battery is just dead. Um, and there's really nothing you can do about that except replace it. So any questions or comments, leave them below for me. I, I do try to get back to you several times a day. Uh, like and share if this is helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys.